home center. Love me some home center. Home center was like fun for me. Um, I have made a laundry mat. I sent you the prop box. Um, I've done rodeo western i left you a uh, hawaiian prop box for like summer i um i've done kind of all all different ones camping um garden grocery store ice cream shop donut shop um and what is really awesome is pinterest like gives you so many cool ideas and then all you need is really a cardboard box and some duct tape and a little bit of spray paint and you've created a washing machine. It was super fun. Um, it's easy. It doesn't take much of your time. What it does take is you thinking ahead. Hey, in three weeks, I want to create a mail room. So then I start create like collecting a box to make a mailbox. And then I start collecting paper to make it envelopes. And then I start collecting like stamps to make stamps and then, but I know it, I have like a prop box and it's all in like a plastic tote and I'm ready to go. And then when I, on Friday, after everyone leaves, I spend 20 minutes and I set it up during nap time. Or I set it up, um, I always try to do it on Friday and I always try to do it like during naps or after, like right before everyone leaves to go home for the day at five. Um, but a lot of times I have to do it during naps. And so they would have, they would get to play with it for a little bit that afternoon, but then on Monday they'd come back and it's fresh and it's new. So I always tried to keep like, sounds horrible because I don't like Disney, but like <laughs> the magic alive. Um, that's horrible because I don't really like Disney. And so, yeah, but that is the best way I can describe it is trying to keep the magic alive of home center and like dress up and princesses and you could have a princess castle. You could have knights, you could have swords. Um, I got a little clothing rack from Target that's like nine bucks and did hangers and I made them hang up their clothes and it was just different creative home economic type things. Um, you can even do like fresh flowers in a flower pot. Um, you can have a, uh, um, a flower shop and you could go buy a bunch of like $4 flowers at... Um, Walmart and every night just put them in water before you leave and then you use them the next day and they're gonna get ruined but then you throw them away at the end of it and it is so fun um literally like Pinterest is like what can I do like farm I can do a farm center and home center what where I get cows and I put cows on the wall um Christmas I put a fireplace on the wall and had a Christmas tree I left you all of that um, and let them do fake, fake presents under the tree and had wrapping paper where they could pretend to wrap and tape. And it just took, so you take everything out and then you put your center in. And it's just like using your imagination and also just knowing what is ahead and what you're doing. So always like being mindful in the back of the brain, like, oh, you know, four weeks from now, this is going to happen. Great. I know how to plan. You know what I mean? Or what I'm going to pull out or what I'm going to do. And I always pull out like the morning of, so Friday morning, I would always pull out the toys I was going to put in and have them like in the closet ready to go so that I wasn't like trying to find the toys and then putting that out. It just took way too long. I just prepped that whole day was kind of my turnover prep day. And that's when I like lay out my lesson plans and have it all ready to go. It was great. Um, okay. I'll go to the next center.